everybody. I thought we could use another poo story tonight. So I am going to read a story called the not so special, very special day. Pooh smacked the last drops of breakfast honey from his paws. I'm ready, Christopher Robin, Pooh said. Let's have a special day. We need a special idea for a very special day, Christopher Robin said. As the two friends passed Owl's house, they asked Owl for a special idea. Have a day of reflection, said Owl. That sounded special. So the two friends went to the stream and made faces in the water. Their reflections were funny, but they didn't seem to make the day very special. Perhaps we could make it a very special sail to sea day, said Christopher Robin. But where is our ship, Pooh asked. Right here, Captain Pooh, Christopher Robin helped Pooh climb high into a tree. Ahoy, Christopher Robin called. Hello, Tigger answered from far off. Sailing to sea was fun, but still, that didn't seem to make the day very special either. Pooh's tummy was getting very rumbly. A snacking sort of day would be nice, he said. A great idea, Christopher Robin said. We'll have a very special bake day. Deep in the heart of the hundred acre wood, the two friends baked mud pies. The pretend treats were pretend tasty, but they didn't make the day very special. The sun slipped away to make room for the shadows. Christopher Robin and Pooh walked along the water again. I'm sorry, I didn't make this a very special day after all, Pooh, said Christopher Robin. Pooh saw his head tilt in the water below just as he tilted his head on his shoulders. But our funny faces were special, Pooh said, and we sailed on a special ship and made special pies. I think, Christopher Robin, that all of those specials add up to very special. I think you're right, Christopher Robin said, smiling at his very special friend. Perhaps then, Christopher Robin, Pooh said, we could have a special smackerel of honey now. Yes, Pooh, he said, we certainly could. Something that I thought about with this book was how a lot of times we have these expectations of holidays and big events vacations and we make so much out of them and we hype them up so much that sometimes almost the anticipation feels like it was better than the actual day itself or the actual holiday or vacation. So this is a really good reminder to try to make every moment count and to realize sometimes that small moments or some of the everyday things we do that we're able to do, that we're blessed to go and do, um, spending time with family or friends, no matter how insignificant or small or silly it might seem, the fact that we get to live and breathe and spend that time is what matters and makes it important. And some of those things, um, they are what make memories and they're what add up. So I hope that y'all enjoy that story. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this day, for all of our blessings. Thank you, Lord, for things that we treasure, the everyday things, the everyday experiences. Lord, sometimes they may not seem like a big deal, but what we do every day, the time we spend with family and friends and loved ones, they involve making memories, which we will cherish always. So Lord, thank you for those opportunities and help us to treasure those. Lord, we pray that you lead, guide, and direct us in all that we do and protect us until we meet again. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a good rest of the week.